My next guests are entrepreneurs who have taken on the mission of getting more African Americans and women interested in owning businesses. They are sharing their expertise in key roles at Wayne State University and at TechTown. I'd like to welcome David Tarver, founder of the Urban Entrepreneurship Initiative, and Marlon Williams, founder of Sisters Code. Thank you both Thank for being you. here. Thanks, David. Yeah. Thank uh, we, we talk about this subject a lot on this program, uh, the idea of growing businesses, uh, opportunity for businesses among uh, African Americans, minorities, and, and, and women. Uh, talk about how we're doing with that uh, in, in the new Detroit. <laughs> I think um, we're doing well in some areas, yeah. and we have ways to improve in other areas. I kind of have a unique perspective on this because, you know, I grew up during the 60s. Right. So we're talking about 67 now, yeah. and uh, I started a, a business in the aftermath of the Civil Rights move, Movement with two buddies. Marlon was <laughs> great uh, last week in, in holding this Candid Conversations event. Uh, uh, and uh, so I kind of went through that first wave of, of trying to start a business without all the supports that are yes. out there today. Yes. So now if, if you compare what we went through, you know, in the early 80s to what's happening now, there's a lot more support out there. But I think also with what's happened to the school systems, yes. with what's happening with access to university education, you know, the preparation side needs work. Yeah, yeah. And I would say ahead, this is a good segue, especially like for Tech Town. You know, when Tech Town brought me on, I'm their first diversity and inclusion entrepreneur in residence, mm -hmm. which to me says a lot about the way we want to trend. Mm -hmm. And they brought me there to say, hey, how do we bridge this gap, uh, racial gap in particular and gender in this technology entrepreneur space? So I can see us moving forward in there because with diversity and inclusion, you have to be very intentional. Especially in that space, I feel yes. like. Uh, there, there is something about... I mean, some of it's history, I guess. Uh, some of it's just uh, uh, money and, and access that really uh, restricts that space, I think, in, in people in our minds, right? Yeah. Uh, African Americans and women, we believe that somehow it's not for us. Sometimes we count ourselves out, yeah. for sure. But you do have to have a place where you feel included. Yeah. So that's why that diversity is important, but diversity and inclusion have to work together. So when you walk into the doors of a tech town or any other place, do you feel included? Do you feel like this space is for you? Yeah, yeah. And, and you ha you, uh, making it feel like it is for you is, is harder than people oh, think it is, yes, right? It is. It's very specific <laughs> things that need to be done, right? Yes, very much so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, even when we talk about like our open office hours, you know, do you have op open office hours that are nine to five? Right. When I know <laughs> when I grew back in the day, my mom and dad had 15 jobs, so they couldn't come. So maybe you do something where it's after hours. That's something that even it's a small nudge to say you two are included. Yeah, yeah. And growing up, you know, I, I got into electronics. Uh, I, I started a, an electronics manufacturing mm -hmm. business. I got into it because my father had been in the service and he came home with this interest in radio and TV and had all this stuff in the basement. He couldn't get a job in those days in the right? electronics industry. Wow. But because he had all that stuff at home, that enabled me to get a leg up. And then people were actively trying to, to diversify. Sure. Uh, you know, so we were in that first wave of blacks going to college, engineering school, and going into corporations. And so uh, that was a great thing. Now I'm involved at Wayne State uh, in pulling together uh, the overall entrepreneurship and innovation program there. And it's an exciting thing because uh, given where Wayne State is and given the student body at Wayne State, yeah. we can have an outsized impact on getting students into these fields and really- Well, and, and sort of that's where you have to start, right? With, with young people just getting to college and thinking about what they wanna do. Definitely. Uh, making it clear that you don't have to just grow up and go get a job. You can, you can start your own thing. And then also, you know, we have such a, a number of companies uh, in Detroit who are doing lots of different interesting things and having students have proximity to that, get mm -hmm. familiar with that before they even get into college, you know, so that they get a, a picture of what they want to do is a great thing. You know, growing up in Flint, we had General Motors there, right? I had a job at General Motors when I was in high school. <laughs> right. And so, you know, it's a, it's a great gone, leg up. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think so, Steve. <laughs> I can't really go do that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, talk more about uh, TechTown and, and the work that you're doing there. I, I'm not sure 
everybody knows exactly what Tech Town is and yeah. uh, so what it's up to. Tech Town is this amazing place. You know, I walked in the door and you can just see, you can feel the creativity and the energy. It's this co-working space, mm -hmm. but it's more than just co-working space. We have a labs team and we have um, a, a SWAT city team or a blocks team. Mm -hmm. And just to sum it up quickly, this is the place you want to go if you have an entrepreneurial idea. If you have an idea, if you right? You just have an idea. And, and to, to segue into what you were saying about what I'm doing, diversity and inclusion is important, which means your idea could be a dud, mm -hmm. it can be great, we don't care. <laughs> the beautiful thing is, is that you have, you this, have idea, this idea. And right. you have this idea. And Tech Town is the place where you can come, where someone will meet you, where you are, to talk through your idea. Yeah. And if we can't help you, we aren't just going to leave you. We will refer you to other people in the ecosystem. Right. Uh, they have and that a, positive a, experience yeah. with that idea, even if it doesn't work out, could lead you to something exactly. else. Failure is part of success. Exactly. Right? Yeah, that's exactly. A, that's a whole other subject. But, you know, <laughs> it is. I, I teach a class at University of Michigan in urban entrepreneurship, and I tell my students every semester, the best businesses, they, the, the idea seemed crazy at first. Right. The problem is the crazy idea seemed crazy at first. Right. Too. <laughs> so exactly. you got to go out you there have and to try. separate you know? them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we've only got about a minute left. What, what's the one thing you hear? Uh, from uh, people who want to start businesses, that's the biggest hurdle mm. that they face today. Uh, yeah, you hear a lot about money. Yeah, you know? well, right. <laughs> uh, and I know that was a that was a challenge for us, but uh, I think particularly in terms of uh, African American uh, entrepreneurs, we don't have that generational wealth, yeah. and we don't have the access to wealth, and so we have to be creative uh, about how you can't we just go, go to your dad and yeah. say, "Hey, and, write but, me a but that's how most businesses start, you know, family and friends yeah. and other founders. And so, if you don't have that network, it makes it tough. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. about I would say um, what I hear the most is not really about the money; it's just about the fear. Is yeah. the fear of getting started? So I tell people there's power in the first step. You may fail lots and lots of times, but it, sometimes you have to get out of your own way and just try. <laughs> I've had a lot of businesses, um, you know, and it took a while for me to get where I wanted to be. So it's, it's just that fear of failure. Kind yeah, of. and now you're doing it. I mean, Sisters Club is one of the cool Yes, cool thank you. Around. All right, uh, <laughs> thank you both for being here. Thanks for having us. Thank okay, you. that's our program for today. Thanks for watching. For more information about today's guests, you can visit AmericanBlackJournal.org, and you can always connect with us on Facebook and on Twitter. We'll see you next time.